Hi Cancer, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those of you that are cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. In today's reading we're going to take a look and see what the cards predict for you. Um, for those of you interested in a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is going to be listed below the video. Potentially five to six days, I see, or five to six, um, it could be weeks. Um, I don't think it's going to take as long as five to six months, but I see that there is going to be some uh, communication, okay? Some, uh, a conversation that I feel like is going to be very instrumental here, especially with regards to a romantic connection. So if you haven't had any contact or any communication between you and a romantic energy, I feel like either you're reaching out to them and this person is responding, or I feel like this person, you know, is someone who's going to reach out from out of the blue. I feel like they've got good news. Either their good news relates directly to them or they've got good news that I feel like is going to maybe propel your connection forward. I do, you know, the Six of Cups, the Four of Wands, along with the remaining cards, I feel like there is an energy of someone coming back to you or um, you going back to something, okay, something that you've had with this person, a connection that you've had, a relationship, um, a situation, an energy of you going back to something and exploring things in a little bit more depth, a little bit more detail. This is someone whom you feel like you have, you know, this unfinished business, okay, you've not explored the depths of this connection, you feel as though there's still something there. You've had something very special and profound with this individual and this is someone whom I feel like some of you have been de doing long distance with this person, Six of Swords energy, strong um, air energy as well, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. This is someone whom maybe either you're, it could be, you know, I'm getting this whole distance notion. You might be at a distance from this person right now, at a physical, geographical distance, an emotional distance. Some of you have been doing long distance um, with this person. And if so, then I feel like this is someone traveling to see you or you're traveling to see them. Because I see there being movement, a whole lot of movement between yourself and this individual. So, um, you know, physical movement um, or movement in the sense where I see the connection being propelled. Um... By the time, it depends where you're at and what part of the world you're at where you're listening to this. By the time summer ro rolls around, I see a lot of romance and I see a lot of fun in your energies. I'm also seeing some the arrival of some very exciting news or some very big plans here in the energies. I don't know if this is yours though, Cancer. I don't know if you've got some very exciting news that you're going to be sharing with someone and this individual is going to be very supportive of you. It does feel like it's a romantic energy um, or at the very least it does feel like there's a presence of a romantic energy between the both of you. Um, it may also be this person is going to be sharing some very exciting news or some very big plans of their own with you and maybe there's travel involved in the plans too um, so maybe this person is you know their energy is coming closer towards you so for example um, they may have if you are doing long distance they may have some opportunities that come up um, around you know where you're staying
I honestly feel like around the summertime, it could be spring as well, um, around the spring or the summertime, there is a beginning of romance, there is a beginning of um, a, uh, a love affair. It could involve a friend, it could involve a past romantic energy, um, it could also be like an artistic outlet. So it'll be a love affair that might involve like a brand new crush or someone whom you have been crushing on, someone whom you have been um, smitten with. And I see that, you know, I see that uh, a lot of fun, a lot of um, excitement and a lot of romance around the summer and the springtime. I'm also feel, I'm also seeing that you're going to feel at home. In the next coming weeks, I feel like you're feeling really at home um, within yourself and at home with your loved ones. I see you opening up to a new opportunity, especially a new romantic opportunity that is coming your way. Um, I'm also seeing that you're opening up your, yourself to new friendships or new connections. Um, but I feel like there is, I started this reading by saying there is some sort of conversation that I see happening. And this is going to happen sooner than later. And that conversation is going to be the launching point of a new love affair. So either you strike up, um, you're striking up a whole, um, you're being smitten with like a new crush or you're striking up a love affair with someone from the past who's coming back. Make sure you do maintain healthy boundaries with you and this individual because in the past I feel like um because I feel like you've been waiting on someone or you've been waiting on something and whether it's an artistic outlet or whether it's a romantic energy, I think it's so important for you to maintain healthy boundaries. I'm also seeing in terms of finance, I'm seeing be careful with your spending. Find, I'm seeing some of you are going to find a creative um, venture that can, that you're going to be making money from. So, you know, you might have your nine to five day job, but then you're also going to get something else going on the side. It's a creative, fun energy, um, something that I feel like is going to be very lucrative, um, it's kind of it's very fun so it's going to take the stress factor but you could find you know you could turn a hobby into a money making idea you're also in the mood to express yourself especially with this person that i'm seeing okay this person that i see coming towards you or this person that you're attracting towards you i feel like you're um i feel like you're opening yourself up i feel like you're expressing you know because oftentimes you can tend to be very closed off right and you know you're not very comfortable talking about your emotions and when you get that way you kind of just like crawl into your little you know your little shell um your little hermit shell and you tend to stay there until you're ready to come out but now i see that you're to me the cards seem to be giving you a glimpse of all of these romantic adventures that lie ahead for you and what as i've mentioned what's going to be the starting point or the launching point is this conversation so whether you strike up a conversation with a random stranger um, there's a lot of flirtation there's a lot of lovely romantic energy there or this is someone whom you already are connected with someone from the past someone who is at a distance to you so whether it's a physical or emotional distance in this person you're attracting this person back into your life or you're, you know, this person is coming back towards you. But by the time summer or spring rolls around, your love life is in full swing. So, you know, stay on high alert because I feel like it doesn't mean that you're going to be in a relationship. For some of you, yes, you'll find yourself in a full-blown relationship with this past person or this soulmate energy, this person that you're attracting. For others of you, as luck would have it, I just see you at the center of attention. I see, you know, a lot of flirtation, a lot of maybe you're meeting and connecting with a lot of people and a lot of romantic escapades that I feel like you're going to be taking. So um, be very patient. Um with yourself right now so things may have been very slow with you when it comes to love and romance but uh, all of that is moving like all of that is going to be picking up momentum very soon um, I'm also seeing you know going back to this whole communication thing you're going to be opening yourself up and expressing yourself whether it's to this new romantic energy or to this person that's coming back because you have a tendency to avoid conflict, right? You have a tendency to kind of beat around the bush um, and just, you know, avoid saying things because you don't want to get into uh, 
uh, trouble over it or you don't want to you know to make anything worse don't be afraid to tell this person what's bothering you okay don't be afraid to tell this person what's on your mind um, because I do feel like this person's energy feels like to me you're going to feel very safe and very loved and very cared for around this person so you know it's this person speaks a love language in which they're very caring very sweet um, very gentle very understanding and very compassionate and they're fluent in that language so don't be afraid to speak up when something's bothering you okay um, you know because you're essentially you're going to find yourself in a relationship with this person and your emotional needs are important as are theirs so um, you know don't hold back basically I feel like this someone or something you've not been on the same page with so I feel like the universe the cosmic um, forces here are giving you a chance to get on the same page whether it's with this individual or whether it's with something and I feel like you know summer spring you're going to be in a beautiful position to again depends what part of the world you're in right now right um, but by, by the time summer spring rolls around you're going to be in a be beautiful position where you're in this beautiful loving relationship um, with you know this person who does feel very much like a soulmate energy or you're on the brink of you know developing a very beautiful um, romantic connection with this individual so just be patient with you know how things are because I see your love life is building a lot of momentum so whether it's with a new energy or someone who comes circling back but I do feel like for a lot of you there's someone whom you have unfinished business with and it's going to give you that opportunity because in the past you've not seeing eye to eye with this individual you've not been on the same page but it's going to give you the opportunity to get on the same page okay and it's that conversation so if something is bothering you or has bothered you you need to speak up um will you be avoiding conflict no probably not but it's so important that you know you voice yourself you vocalize yourself instead of staying quiet and letting that bother you because you know you there needs to be um a healthy you know, a healthy dose of communication. You need to be able to speak up when something's bothering you. All right, guys, and these are your messages. Thanks for watching and listening. Um, for those of you who haven't uh, done so, please show your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. Bye.